Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just finished this painting, which was a commission piece for a friend. And this is the second time I've posted uh, something in this theme, The Last Smoke Up. So this one's called The Last Smoke Up 2.0. Probably took me about 12 hours all up to finish. Uh, also guys, thanks for all your support once again on this channel. Keep watching the videos, they're gonna keep coming in. And here's my Patreon, once again. All right, thank you guys, hope you enjoy. And uh, uh, here's my website here. If you wanna buy something on the shop that's still available, you can check it out. And uh, also please give uh, this video a thumbs up and a comment. And yeah, thank you, catch. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jay's Time Lapse Speed Art. I'm gonna get straight into the topic because we don't have a lot of time in this episode. So, it reads, am I the asshole for giving away my daughter's dog? Straight off the bat, yes you're an asshole. My daughter is 16 and struggles with depression. So you took a puppy away from a depressed child. Well. My wife decided a year ago on her 15th birthday to get her a puppy just so she had a companion. She was instantly attached to him as he was to her and she took full responsibility for him aside from vet care because she can't afford that. She was very good at taking care of him, never missed a meal or a walk. The problem was that no matter how well taken care of he was, he always makes messes in the house. We tried to get him house trained many times and we had to have puppy pads at all times and he was starting to burn us financially. So two weeks ago, I told my daughter that since nothing is working, I think he needs to be with the family who can keep up with his high maintenance. She did not take it well, and these are her words. I'm the one who takes care of the dog and cleans up after him. It's barely affecting you. Well, the daughter speaks straight facts. Just saying. I told her that is because of how many additional things we have to get just to make sure his messes are smaller. She looked me dead in the eye and said, if you take my dog away from me, I promise you I'll make your life a living hell for the next two years that I live with you. Girl's not messing around, I'll tell you what. I gave the dog to a very stable family two days later. You fucking whore. You dirty fucking whore. I would never forgive you. I, I could not forgive that. I would never move on from that. You cold, heartless fucking whore. Anyway. My daughter has been avoiding us and has only spoken to us to make snarky comments. If I come down to her room to talk to her, she looks around and says, Hmm, what are you going to take from me next? Or, how do you want to ruin my life now? The girl's got sass. I like it. It's exhausting to deal with. She'll come upstairs and start crying and saying that now she's all alone and has nobody and she accuses us of not loving her. One thing she said before we gave the dog away is, if you give my dog away, I'll know where I stand with you because if you truly cared about me and my well-being, you wouldn't put me in a position where my mental state plummeted. She now holds us to that and often says, Why are you asking if I'm doing fine? You don't give a fuck about me and you're only asking me to make yourself look good. And, you don't love me, you cause me to have a depressive episode, etc. I really feel awful about the situation and I feel like I made the wrong decision in giving her dog away because now my kid has not expressed a hint of positive emotion unless she's on call with her friends or a boyfriend. Am I the asshole? So you actually typed all that out and still had to ask other people if you're an asshole or not? Mind blown. Simply blown. Yes, you're a fucking asshole. She was literally taking responsibility for it. That dog was not only a friend, it was also an emotional support animal. Um, many people need the company and a dog is a perfect animal to do just that. Of course the puppy is going to make a mess, it's a puppy. You can't just give up on it after what, two weeks or however long you had it for. It's not a toy, you can't just dispose of it when you've had enough of it. If you get a puppy, it becomes family. And this is how a lot of animals end up back in the shelter where eventually they get euthanized. This child seems to be more mature than you are, to be honest. I think your daughter's gonna leave the first chance she gets. Uh, she's gonna hold this against you for a while. It's gonna be hard to make this one up to her. And you've really stuffed up. Even after she pleaded with you, you still two days later, I assume when she was out of the house or something, got rid of the dog. That's just not on. My mum always threatens to take away my cat. But I just laugh in her face because I know she'll never have the heart to do it. But you actually did it? Wow. Wowzers. Yeah, so to sum it all up, I think uh, you're very selfish and cruel. Even if it was a little bit of financial burden, you could have said to your daughter to get a part-time job just to cover some of the costs or something. You don't have to take away her puppy, her companion. 
especially when she's going through a tough time in her life. So, my final verdict, you are the asshole. Case dismissed. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for sticking around and have a great day. Goodbye.